Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today we're going to be talking about global warming and the greenhouse effect. Now global warming kind of explains itself very simply because it's the warming of our planet, specifically the fragile oceans and the fragile and delicate atmosphere that we have on the planet. Now global warming is a byproduct of the greenhouse effect. Basically the short wavelength from the sun, specifically ultraviolet and visible light, come in and strike the surface of the earth. Well, darker colors like the continents and the plants and so on are going to take in the energy, but they're going to also give off that energy as well. Good absorbers are also good radiators of energy. So the darker colors are going to give off long wavelength or infrared or what we know as heat energy back out into the atmosphere. Well, as that energy gets put back in the atmosphere, the temperatures are going to go up and that's basically what warms the atmosphere. The problem here is this, this terrestrial radiation gets trapped in the atmosphere. Usually, you would want that energy to escape back out into space to kind of keep a balance. But there's something going on in the atmosphere that's trapping in the heat energy. We'll talk about that in a second. So you see that infrared energy is getting trapped in by what we call the greenhouse gas layer. Visible light coming in, infrared's trying to leave, but it can't. That greenhouse gas layer is going to be the problem here. Now, when you talk about a greenhouse itself, the glass in the greenhouse is synonymous with the atmosphere, specifically one gas in the atmosphere called carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is going to trap in, it's going to gobble up that infrared energy. It allows the short wavelength in, but won't allow that long wavelength back out. So just kind of give you a little perspective here. There's your short wavelength, high energy, that's going to be your ultraviolet invisible light, that's allowed in. Your long wavelength, low energy, infrared energy is not allowed back out. So there's the big difference in regards to wavelength itself. Well, infrared energy is not allowed out because of these nasty gases in the atmosphere, which we call greenhouse gases. Now, clouds do a lot of absorbing here, but it's the carbon dioxide, the water vapor, the methane, and the nitrous oxide that are going to absorb that heat energy that's given off by the Earth. And once that heat energy gets trapped in, temperatures around the globe go up. Now, when you look at the composition here, you look at 56% of your carbon dioxide is going to be making up your greenhouse gases. And if you look on the right-hand side picture, all that green in there, that's your carbon dioxide emissions. And it's mostly found in the northern hemisphere because that's where the majority of industry is found. That's where the majority of our population is found in the northern hemisphere. Now, where do these gases come from? They come from the burning of fossil fuels. Whether it's gasoline, oil, natural gas, just to give you a couple there, those gases, when they get burned, or I'm sorry, when those resources get burned, the gases get put out in the atmosphere in very large quantities. So really, car exhaust and industrial regions are going to be the main reason why we have these greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. So these greenhouse gases, you can see the burning of industry, the burning of fossil fuels through industrial plants, and car exhaust are going to be the major contributors to the greenhouse gas accumulation. Remember, carbon dioxide is going to be the main gas used in plants, so deforestation is going to be a major reason for the greenhouse effect as well, very simply because you start taking away plants, those plants are going to be the major reason why we're taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. The less plants you have, carbon dioxide emissions tend to go up. So there's got to be some effects here. With the warming of the planet, Scientists believe that glaciers are going to melt. And scientists also believe that the polar ice caps, the North Pole and the South Pole, are going to start to break apart. They believe that with the increase in water into the oceans, coastal regions will uh, get drowned by the rising water levels. Mosquitoes are going to be in plentiful supply, which could spread malaria. Certain regions could go through extreme drought through the greenhouse effect. With the increase in temperatures in the oceans, bleaching of the corals or the death of the corals are going to occur. And with the increase in temperature, you're going to get higher evaporation rates, which are going to give rise to much stronger storms, uh, such as Hurricane Katrina. You get a much, much higher volume of very, very strong hurricanes. Think about what you can do to reduce your carbon footprint and what you can do to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So that's it for now. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.